Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and welcome to this video which is all about the stays of play that happened a couple of hours ago. Unfortunately I was at work so I could not watch it live or stream it live but I did say I was going to restream it again when I got home but I've been in touch with Decepticon because I've been avoiding this. I didn't want to see any spoilers. I asked him, you know, is this worth restreaming? He said there's one big thing and a couple of small things but overall it was disappointing according to him so i'm thinking to myself maybe it'll be better if i just make an edited video instead of doing a live stream that way i don't have the chat spoiling things for me that way i can skip through the trash uh, not that i couldn't do that anyway but you know what i mean and we can get a more clear concise thing and yeah let's just do that shall we i think we'll have some lols perhaps along the way maybe we'll get to know each other uh, maybe we'll discover that Friendship was the PS Viewer game that we wanted all along. Without further ado, let's just hop, 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 hop right into this. So first of all, straight away, I'm seeing that the dislike ratio is pretty high. It's got 36,000 likes, 16,000 dislikes. But because this is PS Viewer and PS4 focused, I was kind of expecting this anyway, because people are like, oh, where's PS5, PS5, you know? Uh, but then Decepticon did say it was disappointing, so we'll see anyway. Let's just hit play. Got some music going on here. Let's turn that down a little bit. Oh, I hope the sound is going to be good for you guys. Uh, I have no way to test this. So let's skip ahead to nine minutes, get the show on the road. Now, I did see that the very first game to show off was like Crash Bandicoot. I saw that on the Without Parole uh, live stream when they were doing it. And in fact, they're still going over here. Uh, but yeah, one minute to go. I'm just going to skip the trash. I'm kind of scared to full screen this in case I mess the recording up, but Fekus, you only live once, you know? I like this intro that they do, the PS4 style intro. I should say as well, I'm surprised at how long it is. Take 10 minutes off that, 40 minutes roughly. Yeah, we open with Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Hey everyone, I'm Lou Stutter, producer at Toys for Bob, and I'm here to talk to you I'm just going to skip through this really, I'm not like Crash is cool, whatever, but I'm not into it. Teams wanted to take it's interesting that it's not a trailer. Just the original games, but the it's like a deep dive, inspired those original kind of. Games. He did, Decepticon did tell me Resident Evil 8 was not shown here, so I was disappointed to hear that. state of play is loaded with third-party updates for PS4 and PSVR, and some new PS5 gameplay too. Okay, what you got? Hit. We open the show with an all-new look at Crash 4. It's about time, coming to PlayStation 4 on October 2nd. Now let's keep the party going with the Hitman 3. Okay, they showed us off at the PS5 reveal. I've never played Hitman games. I've always been, like, tempted, but I've never made the leap, kind of. I don't know why. Moving a bit slow. Besides, this is your big day. Oh! Is this the big one? Oh, it just says mode. It just says mode include home. Well, let's just let's play. Let's play. Have fun. Oh, don't worry about that. My art speaks for itself. Well, I have oh boy, Hitman Virtual Reality. Okay, don't start. Crash Bandicoot, and then this. And these visuals look nice. Is this actual gameplay? Do you think it looks like gameplay? That looks like an in-game model. But maybe it's PS5. I should just play. Just relax. Just play. Alright, we're getting hype. We're getting hype. These games are full of, like, replayability, the Hitman games. So if it's... Even if it's just a mode, I'm sure it'll be, like, very sandboxy. Oh, the... I don't know what you call that thing. Uh, but I imagine that'll be fun in VR. Hitman 3. Play the entire... World of Assassination Trilogy in VR. What's the World of Assassination Trilogy? Hold on a sec. I'm going to Google this. This is going to be cut and edited so that you won't have to sit through and watch me Googling, but I want to find out what the entire World of Assassin... Don't, that doesn't mean 1, 2, and 3, does it? That's Hitman 1, 2, and 3. But like the rebooted Hitman and the sequel. Play the entire World of Assassination trilogy in virtual reality. Let's keep going. 
Might give more details. Shit. Release date. January 2021. PlayStation VR. Did it give a console? Did it say PS4 or PS5? Because I know they show this off at the PS5 event, but I think it's also coming to PS4. It's a cross-gen game, I think. You know what? Let me Google that to make sure. Fuck, this is hype. This is hype. Just to find out the platforms. Yeah, it says PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. So it is cross-gen. I wonder will PS4 and PS5 both have this... Wow. This VR support. This is crazy. Wow. Decepticon, look. He said it was disappointing. I think that even if nothing else is shown, it was worth it for that. That's not one game. That's three games. And it looked really nice if that was proper gameplay. And it looks like motion controls too, but... Man, I wish they went into a deep dive like they did with fucking Crash Bandicoot. Like, you know, I got to hear all about how the fucking the fur grows on Crash Bandicoot's testicles, but it's just a quick little glimpse in virtual reality what I want to see. Damn. Hitman Trilogy. VR. Trilogy. I'm so happy I never played the original Hitman games now. I never played them flat, so I mean... I'm going to get to experience those games for the first time in virtual reality. And I am so happy. This is uh, that Xbox game that was all the rage like 10 years ago. Braid, that's the one. I think that was like an Xbox 360 game. Anniversary Edition. Okay, it's getting a, like a HD version. All right. We are happy to announce Braid Anniversary Edition. It's the classic puzzle adventure where you manipulate... Alright, so this gets a this gets a deep dive. Crash Bandicoot gets a, a deep dive of the developer talking to you, talking through, like, you know, talking through the steps. Where's my Hitman deep dive for virtual reality? That's raising all the questions. Time. Anyway, just relax. Just take it easy, okay? 2021, okay? I'm happy for all you hardcore brave... Oh, okay, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. It says PS5 down here. It said PS4 over here. I think we should go back and check out what Hitman said. We're back. Crash Bandicoot. Oh, it's blank. It's blank. Do you see that? They could have said PS4 slash PS5, or they could have said PS Viewer. But I think it's very interesting that it's blank. They're not committing to PS4. They're not committing to PS5. Unless I missed it. Now let's keep the party going with the latest yeah, it's blank. IO Interactive. That's interesting. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe it'll be like, sorry, this is only on PS5. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. The Pathless. That's what we're on, yeah? Braid. Okay, I don't know what the Pathless is. Let's it's play this. Adventure set on a mystical Matt Nava this, Giant Squid. this gets a deep dive. I'm excited to share more with you today about our upcoming game, The Pathless. I don't think this is viewer support like they'd say it in the corner, wasn't it? I'll just skip through a little bit. Maybe this will have so a viewer unique take mode. Archery is all about timing, not aiming down. Forming acrobatic. This looks like a pretty cool indie game, I suppose. Instantly feel. But uh, let's let's cut to the chase, shall we? Have you got virtual reality support or not? And if not, why are you wasting my time? Maybe the way she's moving quickly through we'll the environments. Maybe that's the like behind. SSD if you know technology to going on there, fast loading. Oh, still not seeing a PSV or loading or like logo. I'm going to be salty if every other game gets a deep dive except for Hitman. But still, I'm so happy about Hitman. Wow, that's got a smile on my face. I don't know how you can call that disappointing when you got Hitman. I'm not even a Hitman fan. Like, I I thought it would look cool. I've seen the, I've seen the memes throwing the briefcase and the briefcase follows the guy like it's a homing missile. I've seen that. I'm impressed. Let's cut through this. Okay, here we go. Next game. PS4. Next up, let's see what's in store for Spelunky, Spelunky 2. Hi, my name is Derek. You and I'm the creator. And this gets a deep dive. Look at these deep dives. Where's my deep dives? I wanted to make sure IO Interactive. Got old fans excited. Or PlayStation. Also brought in new play. It was important we didn't change the I doubt this has viewer support. 
Uh, so I know Splunky is a very popular will be able to explore and um, interact indie. Lots of new ways. I'm just not interested in games like these. For example, you'll be able to write the closest copies. thing I've been interested in that looks like this is Binding of Isaac. That was alright. This guy's gonna explain Experience everything about this game. But nobody's gonna explain how virtual reality will work in Hitman. What platform it will be on. September 15th. Very happy for all you Spelunky fans out there. The hardcore Spelunky community. What's next? Give me a PS viewer. Got a bunch of new PS4 updates to share with you. Gen with a closer look at Genshin. What is this weeaboo trash? This is a David Segerson game. Oh, this is perverted looking already. You know what? I hope this doesn't have virtual reality cuz I don't want to I don't want to have to hear about this anime trash ever again. This. Look at this. Come on, don't waste my time. All right. This I'm sure this has its audience. I'm not the audience. Nice environments, I'll give you that. The noises they make, the grunting and the cyan that anime characters make. I'll never understand this. You know? What's this? What we got here? Are you virtual reality? Kinda got a cool mix of 3D and 2D, but I'm not seeing PlayStation virtual reality support. So we're skipping. We still got 20 minutes to go. There's still plenty of opportunities for viewer support. What's this? Aeon. 2021. Alright, goodbye. Don't call us, we'll call you. Anno... Mute... I don't even know what that word was. I'm not gonna lie. Alright? I, I needed hours to decipher what that is. Looks like we got a platformer. Anime girl platformer. And she runs at 10 frames a second. Oh. Oh, I thought that was going to transition to virtual reality. Hitman style. I thought we were going into the back of her head there for a sec. Got some crucifixes in the background. Some Christian imagery. There we go. Jesus Christ is an unlockable character in this game. There he is. He's looking well these days. He's got two swords. Time to talk bug snacks. Let's check out some oh, gameplay footage snacks. captured from PS5. Okay, I doubt... Maybe this will be viewer. Uh, I don't see a virtual reality logo. So we're gonna move along, swiftly. They credited the song name because it got so popular. Ooh! Vader Immortal, okay. Here we go. How's this looking? Okay. Learn the ways of the Force. You must stop Vida. I don't understand why you never mentioned that you had the Force. Visuals look pretty nice. Lightsaber Dojo. Like a little challenge area, I guess. Okay. Looks good. August 25th. It's a nice looking date. 5.05. Remedy? Uh oh. Oh, control. DLC it has to be. I don't suppose your DLC will have virtual reality support by any chance. Doesn't look like it. Expansion 2. Is there some kind of Alan Wake tie in going on there? I never played those games. Dragon Nest. What you got, Dragon Nest? Bug Snacks 2. Is this Knack 3? Is this chess? This game is chess. This is not appealing to look at. There's just so much going on on the screen, but whatever. Also chess. So far we got Hitman. And we've got Vader Immortal, which we already knew was coming, so it's not really too hype, but Hitman. 1, 2, 3. Let's not forget 1, 2, 3. Trilogy. What else you got? <clears throat> now let's take a look at two new games headed to PS5. Okay. We. That guy kind of looks like Assassin's Creed. I've seen a bunch of different main characters, it looks like. Maybe multiplayer? Co-op? Co-op. Okay. We are all outlaws. 
Looks okay. Online multiplayer. Twenty twenty one PS five doesn't really look like a PS five game. Again, Endies. I guess they don't need to. Fussage captured from PS five. Temtem, isn't this the Pokemon ripoff? But it's like mu multiplayer. This is not going to be virtual reality, is it? All right, we're getting low on time here, so let's let's get some more viewer announcements in. I don't want to see no Pokemon. If I wanted Pokemon. I buy Nintendo Switch. Explore together. Hope I didn't skip too far ahead. For Godfall. Shit, I did. Oh wait, it's Godfall. We games. Okay. We are very excited to. I'm not sure Today, what to make of this game. Extensive game console. Is this Please the last? Enjoy. He said extensive. Look. So let's jump right into what Godfall is. It's gonna be ten minutes long. It's got the Kratos the shield. To petrify enemies. Petrifying. Like and the sound of, course, of that. You Shit, we don't have much time left. Two minutes, 48 seconds. And we're not out of golf yet. This appears to be a boss fight. Which I'm not too interested in seeing. Let's just say I don't want to spoil it for myself. Could there be something very short? Maybe just a few seconds long? A glimpse? A sliver? Something like that. What do you say? That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Let's peek into the future of PlayStation. See you next time. Hmm. Hmm. What did we think of this? Let's hit pause. Let's put a pin in this for a sec. I can kind of see why someone would say this is disappointing. I think the problem was it was front loaded. Well, on from the PS viewer perspective, which is my perspective which I'm guessing is most of your perspective because you're subscribed to this channel or you're watching, you come across this channel. This channel is very PlayStation virtual reality focused. So of course we're looking for the PS viewer stuff and it delivered at the first half. It wasn't Resident Evil Ace, but there's, that, there's still hope of Resident Evil Ace. We should make that clear. But the problem was, I think it would have been better. I think we would have, that would have been perceived as better if Hitman was a little bit further into the, you know, 40 minutes, if it was at the 20 minute mark, because, you know, we'd be bored, 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 boom, Hitman, you know, then we'd be so hype and that would carry us for the rest. But whereas the way they did us, Hitman was like the second thing they showed. The hype was up to here. Anything else probably wasn't going to hit it. Like Vader Immortal was whatever, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a Star Wars fan. If you're a Star Wars fan and you're excited for that, I understand completely. But for me, it's like, okay, I knew it was coming anyway. It looks fine. But Hitman. And it's not just a mode. I thought it was just going to be a mode in Hitman 3. It's the entirety of the trilogy. That like that rebooted in like 2016, I want to say. And then there was Hitman 2. A couple of years after that. And Hitman 3, which is coming out next year. And they're all coming together. Three for one. Three games. And the amount of content. Even if it was just one game. Even if it was just Hitman 1 that came out in 2016. We'll say. I'm not sure if that's the correct year. But let's say for argument's sake, it was 2016. That game alone, I think it had like, it was an episodic game. So I think it had like five episodes. And each of these ep episodes had like a list of targets to kill in a certain sandbox. Now, it's not a big open world, but there were these self-contained areas. But you had so much freedom, you know, and how you did things. You can mess around with the AIs. You can, you know, you can get disguises. You can hide bodies. You can kill in like a million different ways. Um, so yeah, I think the Hitman trilogy announcement made this. If it wasn't for that, this would have been absolute garbage, hot trash. And now Sony did try to set expectations. So when I'm looking at this dislike bear, I'm not shaking my head because I can see why these 16,000 people were upset, but I'm over here. I'm over here with the 36,000 people who are happy with Hitman. You know, maybe those people wanted something else too. But look, Sony set the expectations. Don't expect, you know, crazy PS5 level announcements or like Silent Hill, stuff like that. I'm sure people still went in expecting that. I think that's probably a big reason too. I'd be over here though if it wasn't for Hitman. Hitman saved us. I can't... Oh. I would never would have guessed it too. I never would have guessed Hitman. If you ask me of any PSVR games coming, 
What game were they going to announce? I would say Resident Evil Ace. I would say... Pff, I'd put Silent Hill there before I'd put Hitman there, you know? Uh, and not just one Hitman, all three Hitmen. All three of the Hitmen. The trilogy. Wow. You know? Actually, let's go back and watch it again. What am I doing sitting here talking when we could be watching? I think it was after 14 minutes. And I had no clue it was going to transition. I wasn't expecting a transition at all. I thought they were just going to show an assassination. PlayStation 5, boom, that would be yes. But damn, you slip into the back of this guy's head. You scan his barcode and you're in. Besides, this is your Look at that. Day. Motion controls. And it looks so nice. This has to be PS5. Look at the reflective surfaces. Everything. Now, there's no guarantee this is gameplay, but... It looks gameplay-ish. The way he opened the door with his hand like that. What's that thing called? Garess? I think it's a Garess, or uh, it starts with a G. That wire that you choke people out with. That's the one. Play the entire World of Assassination trilogy in virtual reality, and then they hit you with the release date. Death awaits 2021. January 2021. That's just a few months away. That's crazy. Man, that's class. That is so cool. My only disappointment about this is that they didn't go into a deep dive like they did for every other feckin'. 2D retro game from 1986, you know? I'm happy. Not the best day to play. Let me just put that out there. If you were disappointed by this, I understand completely. But come on, Hitman, you know? Hitman. Three Hitman game, not just one, three. Fuck. Anyway, okay. I better end this video. But before I do, let me thank my Patreon supporters whose names are on the screen as I speak. Thanks to their generosity, their help in keeping this channel going so thank you very much lads and ladies for that support in particular let me give a thank you to the top tier patreon the soaking wet pumpkins we've got tradition we've got daniel the pumpkin patch kid we've got chopped 517 we've got columbus thomas the third we got pete hawkins and we got crumb thank you thank you thank you for that support i really do appreciate it it's really helping this channel out and also let me thank decepticon for let me use his music actually i don't think i'll put his music on this one but in general he lets me use his music so thank you very much decepticon you can check him out over decepticon.com you can listen to him on spotify all that stuff and finally thank you for watching if you just stumbled across this channel you want to like and subscribe that would help me out a lot and you know you're welcome to join the pumpkin patch and get moist with the rest of us that's what we like to do in the patch we get moist it's a thing so yeah until next time 